Vistatining, this is Paula. This is Paula Wessinger. Not only is she the owner of Vista Tanning in the Vista, she is a full-time student at Midlands Tech for respiratory therapy. But why college so much later in life? My husband will soon not have medical insurance, so I'm looking to get medical insurance and also have, you know, some extra income. A study done by the U.S. Census Bureau found in 2011, 3 million 6,000 middle-aged students were enrolled in college and 64% of them were women. Wendy Watkins is a 50-year-old college student studying to be a caseworker. She works full-time at Lexington Hospital as a patient coordinator and goes to school in the evenings. Um, what I hope to gain from my degree is I already work for a corporation. I hope to move up within that corporation. Um, I also just, I need a higher salary. Programs offered to non-traditional students may vary from school to school, but here at the University of South Carolina, their Student Success Center located in the Thomas Cooper Library offers a variety of tools and services to the older student population. Non-traditional students, they're usually coming to college with a purpose, and that purpose is to get a degree or to um, get a certain certification to, to make an advancement in their current position. Paul Millard is in charge of special student services. He says the older student population does have a specific agenda for school, but it can be harder for them. I never thought at my age I would be back in school. Um, it is very difficult. I get up every morning, probably about 5 o'clock in the morning. You're tired because you're older. Um, the money is a strain. But when you finish each class, it is such a victory that it's all worth all the heartache. Although both ladies agree on the difficulty of going back to school later in life, they also believe it will help brighten their future and their income. Jenna Teets, Carolina News.